in our archaeology, we basically look at all the physical evidence that we have for the classical world. So you're looking at sculptures and pottery and all the ruins. This is particularly important for the periods of antiquity where we don't have written text records. For example, the Aegean Bronze Age and the early Iron Age don't give us any text, and the very foundation of archaic Rome has no text in that period. In the first two years you do quite general courses, but still very interesting, so there's Roman art or Hellenistic art or Greek art in general, <laughs> um, and then by the time you get to the third year, part two, you can do some much more specific one. So you can kind of pick and choose. Um, and we also have museum trips and handling sessions, which is really great. The faculty has a lovely cast gallery and quite a lot of archaeological evidence just kind of scattered about. There are lots of opportunities to travel to Greece and Rome with faculty travel money, and also to go on excavations and field projects both in the UK and abroad. So as well as kind of learning how to use the equipment and the different techniques, you also kind of find things on the spot, you get to analyse them a bit yourselves, hear what the experts say, um, and you feel like you're really involved in discovering something big, if you do discover something big. What I've really liked about the art course at Cambridge is not only how it fits in really well with other uh, classics modules, um, so for your history courses and literature as well, but also how looking at classical art critically, you can see it influence all the way down through Renaissance art, down to modern art. A really great way to get ahead in thinking about art and archaeology within classics is to visit classical sites and to visit museums. Uh, alternatively, if you haven't got any Greek or Roman collections in local museums, it's a good idea just to visit any sort of museum and think about the way that material culture is presented and what the museum is trying to tell you about how people in the past used these objects.